Welcome to another Untech video. Today we're going to show you how to utilize a website sitemap to scrape multiple URLs at one time. That and so much more coming up now. So you might be asking yourself, why even bother scraping multiple URLs? Or maybe, could I put in any sites I want? Well, the answer to that is obviously no. Uh, unfortunately, each site requires a different map to understand the elements and the data that you're looking for. However, there are times when you want to scrape and you want to do it in a smart way and multiple URLs might be a good way to go about doing that. So let's take a, a tangible example, right? Today we're going to focus on the Mobile World Conference. Let's say you want to check out all their speakers and you take a look at it. Um, you see there's a couple speaker highlights. You see there's a, let's see what else we have here. We have a view 2018 view last year's keynotes. Okay, we got some information here, some senior level looking people but you want to do a little bit of an exploration in terms of what else can I get from the site well the first thing you're gonna do is check out two files that are inherent in almost every site the first one is robots.txt right and that's a little file that tells um, search engines like like Google and others what they can cannot uh, crawl um, and archive and here it doesn't really give us a lot except that there's a couple of WordPress sites that it's not being allowed to crawl. So we're going to go to the second one. We're going to check out the sitemap, right? Every site has a file called sitemap.xml, or most do anyway. So here we see, okay, we got some interesting things going on here. We have the exhibitor sitemap. Okay, sounds interesting. Let's go ahead and uh, load that up in another window here. I'm just going to kill my old tabs here. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? We have a speaker sitemap. That sounds exactly like we want. And we also have a sponsor sitemap. Okay, might be some interesting things over here. So let's let's take a look. All right, under the first one, the exhibitor, there's a, okay, looks like a bunch of different companies that have sponsored or will be setting up at this event. Could be interesting, especially if you want to pull a list of companies that play in the mobile space. So we're going to go back to this in a moment. Let's go to the second one. Speakers. Now here we go. We got a total of 647 URLs. Um, so let's, let's take a look at one of these. Actually, let's take a look at two of these and see sort of what it looks like. Okay. We got a name. We got a title. We got a company. And we had sessions that this guy will be speaking on. Pretty good. Not contact details, but we'll, we'll go with it for the moment. On the second one, pretty much about the same thing. Okay, so we're gonna get a, a bunch of names and titles uh, and companies, but that looks like about it from this site. So let's go back to that original one and take a look at all these speakers. And what we're gonna wanna do is extract this list somewhere. Now, sometimes if it's really messy, there are sites you can do it on, but in this case, we're gonna do an old uh, control C move. We're gonna load up Excel and see if this will parse so we could isolate just the URLs, right? Let's see what we get here. All right, let's expand this outwards. Looks like we got URLs in one column and something we don't need in the other column. So let's delete all this other stuff here. Bingo. Let's delete all this stuff down he up here. Bingo, we now have a list of all the speaker speakers and if we're not careful we'll actually click on those hyperlinks which we don't want to do so let's highlight everything here let's copy it and go into your favorite text editor I've actually done this already um, I like sublime text it's really easy and it has all the speakers here now that we have that what we're gonna have to do is format it in a certain way so this is pretty easy we're gonna use webscraper.io uh, because it'll allow you to put in up to a thousand different links. So before we get to that part, let's prep this. Let's do a control A and highlight all those. Now let's do a control shift L and that's going to bring up a multiple cursor 
and we're going to click right click once. We're going to put in a quote there. And let's do that again. I don't know what happened there. Let's go to let's hit home and let's put in a, a quote over there. Now we have all the URLs surrounded in quotes. If we go to the end again, we can put a comma at the end and hit escape. Okay. And escape again. So now what we have is all the URLs you want to scrape and close in quotation marks with a comma after it. And the next thing we're gonna we're gonna do is just kind of uh, get rid of all the spaces. So again, control A. This time, Control H. And what we're going to want to do is make sure that this box is clicked, which is the regular expressions. And we're going to put in the regular expression for a line break, which should be uh, forward slash N. So it's basically targeting all the empty space at the end. And we're going to replace it with nothing, right? And we're going to hit replace all. And what that's done is basically taking care of all those empty spaces and got us something that we could start converting into a sitemap. OK, that is the first step. Now, the second step is to ready webscraper.io. Now, if you haven't installed it yet, go to your Chrome store, download webscraper.io. There's a couple different versions. We'll be using the regular version here. You go into the developer area, which I got into by right-clicking, going to inspect. But what we're going to do is we're going to create a sitemap. And for now, it doesn't really matter what we put in here. So I'm just going to, I'm going to put this in here. We're going to be erasing it anyway. Um, and we're going to name this, uh, let's see, uh, Forum MCA 2019. And we create the sitemap. Now, we're going to go to sitemap and we're going to export that sitemap. Now it doesn't matter, uh, but what we want is this little code that surrounds everything over here. And we're going to cut and paste that. Actually, we're going to take the first part of it up until it starts the URLs, which is that part right there, right? So everything up until the URL, we're going to control copy it. Now we're going to go back into our text editor here and we're going to paste that at the very top, right? We could even get rid of all the lines, and there we go. Now, the next step we're going to do is get what follows after that, right? So everything after the last quote, which is that end part over there, we're going to copy it, and we're going to go into our text editor again. This time, we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom. Of course, I'm using the mouse wheel, right? Slowest way possible. We're going to get rid of that extra comma because we don't need it, and we're going to paste that right there. So now we have all those in a JSON format that Web Scraper will understand. We'll control A, highlight all, we're going to copy it, and we're going to go back into here. And we're actually going to go to import sitemap. So we don't care about that last sitemap. We're going to paste this. And we're going to call this uh, whatever we want to name it. It doesn't really make a difference. Uh, let's say mobile scrape 2019. And we we'll click import. If that all works, you're going to have, if I went into edit metadata, which I will, which might be a mistake because it's going to take a bit to load up, but you see it has each one of those start URLs as a separate URL. Now, hypothetically, you could do that all manually, but uh, it would take. Now, here comes the fun part. Now we have to configure this, right? So we're going to go to sitemap selectors, and it's going to bring us back to where we're going to start building the sitemap. Now, what we need to do is pull up an example of one of these sites. So we're going to go back in. You can get this from anywhere. We're just going to pick one at random here. Let's try this guy over here. Control copy. I'm going to paste it right over here in the same window where we have our web scraper IO. And if you do it right and you don't include any quotes, it'll load up the site. <laughs> now we're doing this because we need an example of what to scrape. So I'm just going to bring this down to the bottom. <clears throat> and we are going to pick the elements we want, right? So we're going to add new selector. It's going to be a text selector. And we're going to go for the name. Done selecting. And we're going to call this name. Now, if you're unsure whether it worked, hit data preview. And you see it gets us his name right over there, which is exactly what we want. We're going to save this. Don't need to click any of these other boxes. We're now going to select position 
and we're going to put title. Hit save. Done. And I'm going to make this a little bit smaller just so it's easier to see what I'm doing over here. And then lastly, we're going to create a new one and we're going to select and we're going to select company. Hit OK. And we're going to call this company. Now check, let's check to see if it worked. It did. See that right over here, company. Okay, good. And again, we don't have to select anything. So we have basically anything we want. There's also some tags here. And I'm not quite sure how that's going to play out, but maybe that's something we could use to classify our data. So I'm going to I'm going to click the tag and I'm actually going to hit P, which is for parent, and you're going to see that box slowly expand. Uh, and again, I'm not sure exactly how that's going to work, but we're going to click, uh, we're going to see what that looks like here, innovation. And we're going to label that as tags. Now, since I only have one, I'm not quite sure how multiple tags are displayed. Uh, so that could end up not working for us at all. Taking a look at this, is there anything else, any links? There's a session he's speaking on. I don't necessarily care about that. So that looks like it works. Um, now what we're going to do is let's pick another link. Now I'm just going back into this original place we copied the sitemap for, but you could really get this from anywhere. It doesn't really make a difference. Um, let's pick this person. Now I'll pick that person. We'll pick. Let's copy that. Go back into the window, right here. Paste that in. So basically what we're doing is loading up another one of the sitemaps that it's going to cycle through because we want to make sure that there's no difference in how it's laid out. So I see it has, now it has two tags and it has name, title, and position. Let's see if it, now if I click element preview next to name, highlights the name. I click element preview next to title, so on and so forth. And now we have tags, right? Now here's an interesting one because it's displaying multiple tags. Let's see what this is actually going to look like. Uh, it only got the first one, which isn't exactly what we want. So we're gonna we're gonna change that, right? We're gonna edit this, and we're going to change this from a text to a grouped element. Let's see, grouped, got gotcha. you. And we're gonna reselect it, and we're gonna select this. Both of them comes up as label. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. So now it has the word tags followed by the tag, something we could easily edit out in Excel later on. I like that a little bit better. We're going to save that here. Again, I'm just looking around to see if there's any other details here, which there doesn't seem to be. Uh, and so let's try one last one just for good measure here. Uh, let's see, we back in the, we're back in the sponsors. Let's go back to the speakers one for a second. Uh, let's go to the bottom of the list, and maybe they are sorted by age. Sort of looks like they are here, actually. Nope, they're all from 2018. A lot of speakers. Let's highlight one of these. Let's copy it. Let's go back into our original window, and let's paste that in and just see if there's any difference going on here. Oh, look at this. Here we have a description, which we didn't have before, which actually could mess up our site, right? It could be different. Let's do a quick check. Name works, title works, company works, tags. That seems to work. So let's, you know, it's there. Let's let's add a new text selector. Let's call this bio. And let's select that entire paragraph here. In fact, let's select that whole box. Let's see what it calls it. Content API description. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so it grabs it. Ends of mother three, ends with mother three. Looks good there. All right, we're gonna assume this works, right? And so now we're, now that we're done creating it, we can simply go and hit scrape. We could set the page load delay as low as 100. Sometimes it doesn't work. This is a pretty simple site, not much going on. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna make it as, as fast as we can. And it's gonna start scraping. And I'm just gonna bring up this box for a moment because this is actually important. As it's scraping through the pages, Let's go down here. We're going to keep our eye out to see if there's any other information that we missed. Are there any email addresses on any of the pages? Uh, as it's going through, it seems like it's pretty similar. Some more tags here, but there isn't any new areas like description was when we first stumbled upon it.
Nope, looks pretty good. So let's take this one. I'm just going to drag it off screen for a second. And we can click refresh and we could see what that data looks like. So we are getting the name, we are getting the title, we are the company. Bio and tags, it's not on every page, so you're going to see a null. Uh, but it looks like the core things it's getting every single time. Refresh. Yeah, no, it, it looks good. Uh, so there you go. And now it's going to literally cycle through this whole thing until you get to the end. Uh, so I'm going to let that go for a moment, and although I'm not going to touch on it too much, we can repeat that process with the other XML sitemaps, right? Go through that same process again, but we'd have to design a new sitemap for it. For instance, let's take a look at the uh, let's take a look at this one right here. If we want to go for everyone who is exhibiting, we could do that, but we're not getting much. We're getting a name of a company, maybe an address, a location, a link to their web page. So we'd have to redesign the sitemap for for this category. And again, if we want to do sponsors, we'd have to do the same thing, go through that process, create another sitemap for this, because as you see, it's completely different. Uh, sponsors is actually not much of anything in there. Let's check out another one. Yeah, it's really, literally just the name. Uh, <laughs> So let's assume that uh, we'll probably be very low on our list. But if we go back to uh, the exhibitors, you'll see that some of them might have some interesting things on it. We'll just we'll take a quick look here, here, and here. Yep, some of them will give you phone numbers. There's also this send an email, which looks like it opens up a window to send an email and a visit a website. It's a little bit more complicated to get that, but maybe I'll cover that in my next video. Thank you guys for checking us out, and remember to like and subscribe.